hello guys and girls welcome back to my youtube channel so this is volatility 75 index and luckily for us we did analyze this pair on my previous videos for those that are within my telegram group we did enter these trades together if you have not yet joined my telegram group the link can be found in the description below for you to join now guys and girls let me go to another pair of which i will show you this exact same pattern and how we should analyze that pair and hopefully get major entries like this on volatility 75 index so let me go to volatility 25 index right now So guys and girls this is volatility 25 index now let me go to the four hour time frame first because as usual we as day traders we must start doing our analysis on the four hours time frame so that we get a general picture of these market movements now on the four hour time frame we can see that previously the market was strongly on a bullish momentum but what if this pattern that it did form right here shows us that this bullish momentum that was riding on volatility 25 index has possibly come to an end because this pattern that we are seeing right here is a reversal seller pattern now let us zoom in a little bit so that we can identify or we can see this pair exactly or more clear by using these two right here so first of all we have our left shoulder then we have some kind of a head right here then we have another right shoulder so we can see that this market right here is purely a head and shoulder pattern almost the same as the one on volatility 75 index now on how should you trade these pairs i'm going to show you on how you should trade these pairs and after this video please go on your charts and keep observing this pair hopefully you may not get some entries but you will learn a thing or two on how these pairs react on synthetic indices so first of all we should know that once this pattern forms the distance between the head and the neckline is the approximate distance that this market will move so let me use this tool right here and clone this movement so that we can get a general idea of where our tech profit should be for re-entries and so on Now we can see that this is the approximate distance that this market must move and it may not necessarily come all the way right here but at least 90 or 80 percent of this movement has to be covered first before the market can decide to go back up to its movement uh, uptrend movement but for some cases the market may come all the way to this level right here respecting this level for us before having some kind of retracements or some kind of uh, reversal to the uptrend direction the break of this minor downtrend movement that has just formed now guys and girls we can see this pair has already played out we can see the neckline right here has been broken already so how should we enter these trades now before entering these trades there are first things that you must do first of all is you should first know how the nature of the market moves i repeat for the sake of those who are new to watching my videos the market always moves in three phases the impressive phase for the case if the market is on a downtrend then the second phase must be a corrective phase before another impressive phase now the funny thing is there are many ways on how the market can move on this second phase or this second corrective phase the market may decide to move forming patterns for re-entries on this phase it can move and form some kind of a double top pattern or a triple top pattern before selling or sometimes it can move forming some kind of uh, an ascending channel before actually deciding to sell on these movements all of these guys and girls all of these can be seller patterns or and i normally call them uh patterns within patterns so as long as you are on my videos 
we will keep doing analysis daily and hopefully you will learn a thing or two while doing this analysis again if you want to join my telegram group the link can be found in the description below so we can see the market already did pre out now let us go to the lower time frames in particular right now i will go to the one hour time frame so that we can see how exactly the market is reacting after break of this neckline so after the break of this neckline we did see the market did retest to this previous broken level but the way it was retesting right here you can see the market did not give us a clear conference of taking sell trades right here before actually praying out maybe it did give us some entry conferences on the lower time frame so let me mark this level right here and we go to the lower time frame so that we can see how the market reacted let me go to the 30 minute time frame so that we can see if we did miss this entry or if just the market is doing some of its manipulations and we can see on the 30 minute time frame there was still no entry conferences as power out uh, the way we trade now let's go to the 50 minute chart guys and girls i'm showing you this because you should not have fear of missing out do not have fear of missing out because you may say okay i missed the entry here let me enter just sell trades right here only for you to find yourself the market coming back again to this neckline providing clear entry conferences yet so guys and girls we can see on the 15 minute chart we can see on the 15 minute chart we did have some kind of an evening star and this candlestick pattern is very 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 crucial and it's very very crucial and it's always a good pattern to trade but these candlesticks patterns on the 50 minute chart it did occur and we missed it again we know how the market moves so the market did come all, all the way right here and it did uh, do some kind of a break of structure you can see here the structure is broken so right guys we can say on volatility 25 index today and for this whole week we are to look for sell only so guys and girls for the sake of those complete beginners as per the video title the downtrend market is said to be over if the previous lower high has been broken so let's say this is how the market moves and we can see the market may come to retest this level and that's totally okay and once the market comes breaks this level and comes to retest to as high as this level that is also totally okay but if this level is broken then this downtrend market can be termed to be officially over and what you should do is we should just wait for a retest before actually riding the buy trains because the downtrend market is over once this level is broken so guys and girls we can see for a proper example right here we can see the market was out to come to retest to this level first okay but it came all the way to this level as long as this market did not break this level right here then this downtrend market is officially still on so the market may decide after the break of this structure the market did all to come to reach to this level but you can see the market is not respecting this level so the market probably will come to as high as this level again so guys and girls we should be very careful for those who want to be safe then just wait for this corrective phase to end first before actually taking any kinds of sell entries now let me go i normally trade the 30 minute time frame so this is how i will do on the 30 minute time frame if you want to see how i'll do on the 30 minute time frame then keep watching this video now on the 30 minute time frame we can see the market is just having some kind of a corrective phase so what i will do is I'm observing still how this market is moving we can see right here the market is moving in some kind of an ascending pattern for those that do not know an ascending pattern just go in Google and see for yourself how an ascending pattern is and that will help you to know we can see how this market is moving to the upstream direction so what I will do is I'll just keep observing and no entry conferences yet I'll just keep observing how this market will move before having any kinds of sell trades so guys and girls see you tomorrow in the next video for an update again do not forget to join my telegram group whose link can be found in the description below happy trading guys and girls bye bye